There is a coolness that emanates from the look of this film. I have not seen anything like it. Copy, copy, copy. copy. That's what makes this movie so thrilling. It does not feel like your typical animated film. Get them! Hit it! It really was that first cover of that first book from Aaron Blaby. That was an immediate click for me. Pure and specific tone in mind. Go bad or go home. Our goal was to give this loving nod to some of our favorite heist crime movies. Name one food better than cake. Guinea pig. The opening sequence, it sets up the whole world and the environment. It's kind of a clear reference to the diner shot. You see it in uh, several of the Tarantino movies. It's naked! <laughs> It's one single shot. We kept trying to push where how far can we go before we really have to cut. Let's do this. At this point, we said, oh, OK, that's it. That's what we want. How can we do that for the entire movie? This is going surprisingly smoothly. What I think Pierre did really great on is a lot of the designs were very graphic. I wanted to make it my own, a French sense of design, influenced by a lot of the anime style. Respect. The idea was to mix and blend mediums, to try to break that mold. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then try something a bit different. And I going back to some traditional technique and layering those 2D elements on top of the 3D image. We've tried to push for a more illustrative style. Surprise! So keeping the brush strokes and trying to implement that in the CG. This film was really about trying to remove the details that we would normally work really hard to add. Wolf became a template that we used for almost everything else in the film. These animators have been working day and night. Yeah! You're working with collaborators who just want to do what's right and good for the project. Good? It was genius! You think? You see an animation, you think. You have it. This is not where I saw the dead going.